Donkey Kong is an arcade game produced by Nintendo in 1981 that featured three characters. The titular Donkey Kong, his adversary Mario Jumpman Mario, and the damsel in distress, Polly. And two of these characters would become globally recognized mascots for Nintendo, while the other was left behind for decades. Pauline has an absurdly weird background. She's Mario and Donkey Kong's red-headed stepchild. She wouldn't appear in Mario games, and I doubt she'd step foot in Donkey Kong's country. But when Mommy and Daddy got together, yeah, you could usually expect her to make an appearance. Mario and Donkey Kong didn't get together very often. 13 years after their debut, the gang reunited in Donkey Kong 94 for the Game Boy, a reimagining of the arcade original that is frequently in the conversation for the Game Boy's best title. But when your name is Pauline and your sole existence is to be 8-Bit Andero, this uh, situationship on a monochrome screen is as good as it's gonna get for her. And then she disappeared for another 12 years. I'm sorry, what? Like, it's just so odd to think that a character from Nintendo's first big hit in the video game industry has such a massive gap in her resume. Yeah, Mario's got a full schedule of rescuing Princess Peach and being a doctor, but Pauline wouldn't even appear in games unless it involves dodging projectile barrels at a construction yard. The Nintendo of today is so much more considerate about preserving their legacy, inviting characters onto spin-offs, and making obscure references to their past. I guess Pauline wasn't in the grand design. But Donkey Kong Jr. sure as shit was. Remember this guy? Probably not, though he was the playable character in Donkey Kong's sequel. This ape hustles. He's rescued his dad, licensed his own serial, got an edutainment spin-off, made cameos in Punch-Out, Super Mario All-Stars, and the fucking Virtual Boy. He was on the roster for Super Mario Kart and two tennis games. The kid's got a Smash Bros. trophy for God's sake. He's certified at the advanced level. While Pauline was waiting for anything besides abduction, Junior was hitting the big time. But then something strange happened. Donkey Kong Jr. died. I don't know, he just left the grid, shows up for a cameo here and there, but playable character? Not on the contract anymore. It could be related to the retirement of Nintendo president Hiroshi Yamauchi. Uh, maybe Junior was his little monkey dude he would passionately beg Miyamoto to insert into a game every so often, and with Yamauchi no longer around to do that in the 21st century, the character fell into obscurity. And oddly enough, right after Junior's death, who rises from the ashes? Pauline. In 2003, Donkey Kong got another reboot with Mario vs. Donkey Kong, and this time it became a beast of a series, producing seven games, and playing a supporting role in half of them is Pauline, where she gets VIP guest zoned by Mario. Like, Sister is cutting the rib into the release of Mario's new toy line, where one of the toys is of her boyfriend's side bitch. That is a hollow smile. Have you ever watched this cutscene? It's a masterpiece. A grown man and a silverback gorilla are vying interest in a woman with toys of themselves. And Pauline rubs that capsule against her face so affectionately right in front of Donkey Kong. And let me remind you that this is a public cucking. This is absolutely making the press. Oh my god. And then Mario's like, uh, you should have leave. Mario is so unhinged in this game. You close the DS and he's like, Hey, come back here, you big monkey. Can't play that one on the bus. But that's Pauline's big and only break as a character. For the remainder of the Mario vs. Donkey Kong era, anything involving her will have the budget of a ham sandwich and a really cool looking rock. By this point, we are 35 years past the original Donkey Kong's release, and Pauline is still glued to that game. In 35 years, the Mario universe has created hundreds of games and thousands of new characters, many of which are less important, yet have many more supporting and playable roles under their belt. Here's just a few highlights so you can really understand how forsaken Pauline is. Daisy is another girl Mario saved once, who is even less relevant, and now she's a lock for every single spin-off. Rosalina's the same case, and somehow she became a Super Smash Bros. fighter on her first try. Diddy Kong, sure, let's add DK's nephew into Mario games, and not the character he kidnaps. And while we're at it, let's invite the nephew's girlfriend to our baseball matches. And you know, uh, we might as well ask the nephew's girlfriend's sister too. These are literally skeletons of already existing characters. That one's a tree. 
a tree is doing better than Pauline. So Pauline hasn't gotten shit from Nintendo. We need to figure out what's holding her back, what's keeping Pauline shackled to this one series, and what will it take to change her from living in a ceaseless eternity as the Donkey Kong girl? And I think I have an answer. Monkey. The apes are holding her back. It was Donkey Kong who first trapped Pauline, and then Donkey Kong Jr. took the spotlight from her in the sequel. It was only after Jr.'s death when she began appearing a little more frequently. And after the final Mario vs. Donkey Kong game release in 2016, something monumental happened. Another public figure in the ape world passed away. And following that moment, Pauline began receiving all the attention she deserved from Nintendo so long ago. That's right, Harambe was restricting Pauline this whole time, and here is photographic proof of him doing it. He must have designed some kind of ransomware that prevented Nintendo from doing anything with the character. And while I'm in no position to formally accuse the company of initiating the event leading to Harambe's assassination, I have produced a plausible motive for them to be a suspect. If my end goal was to get review codes from Nintendo in the future, let me tell you, I'm pretty sure I lost. But hey, it seems a little too convenient that Pauline's biggest role yet would be her first appearance in a game following Harambe's death. Super Mario Odyssey, where she did what was thought to be impossible and escaped the Mario vs. Donkey Kong bubble. Nintendo did a ton for her character here. They gave her a job in politics. Part of Odyssey's story involves passing through New Donk City to recruit a band that will play alongside Pauline so she can sing at a festival. And on top of that, this skill became her entire personality moving forward. It's really inspiring seeing someone be alive for 36 years and only have one talent. I'm sure we will all relate to her someday. But following Odyssey, Pauline was making it her duty to become a Mario mainstay. Within five years, she was riding go-karts, playing tennis, kicking soccer balls, speed golfing, just being the fucking girl boss she is. The way things are going, I'd say we're gonna see her in a Mario party, baseball, Mario and Rabbids 3 anyone. The one thing I can't see though is her own game. That is, unless another monkey croaks. And that has me wondering what it'll take for that to happen. We gotta quantify that power level of these apes. Donkey Kong Jr. is a low-level simian, stronger than your ordinary primate, but clearly not enough to give someone the rights to cross over with other characters. Harambe is the next tier up, defeated and repurposed into a shaker, and Pauline has the opportunities trees and turtle skeletons have. So does that mean Donkey Kong is the next echelon? How would we go about taking him down? Review bomb his series? A genocide some chimpanzees in his name? Perhaps the answer will become clear in the future, but mark my words, Pauline will have her own game someday. Man, what the fuck am I doing? You know, Harambe wasn't even born until 1999. That means he, like, he couldn't have made the technology to stop Pauline until like a couple years after Junior was dying. At least he got to see Junior play tennis, though. That's pretty sweet. Uh, but if you're still watching, smash the hell out of that like button. I got another stupid theory about Rosalina you can check out right now. Consider subscribing. I won't flood your inbox. Dicks out for Harambe. And until then, I will see you all next time.